Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Tacticon Battle Vest Light Plate Carrier. But before we get into the video, you can, of course, like, share, and subscribe, as all that sort of stuff is free and does help us out quite a bit in the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can comment something so ubiquitously commonplace in the comments down below. Now, with all of that out of the way, there's also my website, which uh, sells products that are theoretically in stock. There's also Subscribestar, which this will probably be given away on Subscribestar at some point after this video goes live. Not sure exactly when. But with all of that out of the way, full disclosure on the Tacticon plate carrier, this one here specifically is the Battle Vest Light. So this is their lighter weight, um, less uh, heavy duty plate carrier, if you will. They did send this out to me. The reason that I was interested in this is because a lot of you guys comment about Tacticon's belt. In the belt reviews that I do, it is almost always mentioned as the best budget belt on the market because you can find them for like 20, 30 bucks. They have a metal buckle. They're, uh, you know, 500D Cordura or the uh, laminated nylon material, and they tend to hold up and work pretty well. So when they contacted me to check out one of their plate carriers, I said, sure. And of course, ever since then, they've been bugging me to get the video out. So ready or not, like it or not, here we go. So starting off with the front of the plate carrier, we do of course have the cover bunch that are hook and loop Velcroed on. The hook and loop Velcro is actually quite strong, uh, strong enough that I ripped off their little handles. Uh, having a handle is a nice feature for getting the plate carrier on and off quickly. However, these definitely need to be a little bit stronger because they do tend to rip out if you, you know, put some force into it. Now, the setup here on the front is extremely simple. This placard is from Infinity Tactical Solutions as well as the uh, tourniquet holder underneath. And then we have a dangler on the bottom with some additional uh, medical in there. And then if we simply lift this up, this is the entire front panel, uh, which comes on and off really nice. So I can throw this on another plate carrier extremely quickly if I needed to. Now on the front panel here, we have a lot of options. So we have a large field of this hook and loop Velcro, which is very nice. We also have a kangaroo pouch on the inside, which I absolutely hate. And then it also has a molly front panel that you can put on here. So you can actually put on a molly front panel and then have the uh, cummerbunds on the underneath side of that. And then of course have the molly front panel here instead of all of this exposed Velcro. So you have a lot of different options in terms of how you want to set it up. Uh, geez, I just ripped off. Personally, I have or I prefer, I should say, I prefer the simplest solution, which is usually just to have something like this, throw it on there and then forget about it. Now up top, we have this Velcro covered molly section. Now we also have horizontal molly sections here for your clips. So if you're using like a placard, something like that clips in and then locks down on the Velcro, this is compatible with that. So in terms of options, you have just about all of them. You have your kangaroo pouch, which again, for me is the hardest to work with and the least preferable, I should say, you have a molly front panel that can be put onto this piece of Velcro and then it actually hooks underneath into the kangaroo pouch. Then you also, of course, have just the Velcro if you want to just throw on a very simple placard. And then, of course, you can also attach buckles to the top if you wanted to use that sort of clip-on placard system, which uh, people do have a lot of attachments for those lying around. So it does make it nice and easy that you can just clip in one placard and then clip it out rather than it being just Velcro by itself. Now getting into the plate bag itself, there is a pretty major problem with it. Now you do have options on the back for Velcro pontoon. So if you wanted some extra padding in there or separation for you know additional ventilation on here, you can totally do that. However, as you might be able to tell, my uh, plates are basically almost sticking through this material because this plate bag is actually a little bit, a little bit undersized. So the plates that I'm currently using in here are the Premier Body Armor Special Threat 3 Plus. These plates are absolutely cheating. They weigh 2.8 pounds by themselves. So the entire setup of this plate carrier plus two level three plus plates is like six and a half pounds. So it is like absolutely cheating. But the plate bag is like a little bit too small. So it took two people to get these plates in and out. And again, this is rated for 10 by 12 plates. This is a 10 by 12 plate, not even the thickest 10 by 12 plate on the market. So depending on what you're putting in here, you could have a pretty bad time actually getting something like this in. Now, this material on the back is very thin. There's no form. There's no um, padding to it whatsoever. So the edges of your plate carrier, again, depending on or sorry, the edges of your plate, depending on the plate that you're using, 
are very sharply protruding through the back of the or through the material itself meaning this that this is not particularly comfortable though we will get into that later the idea of the pontoons is quite nice it does add some extra features some extra options if you wanted to add something on there uh, to again increase ventilation or just make it a little bit more comfortable some padding or something but i do wish that the plate bag itself was a little bit bigger and the material a little more substantive a little bit more comfortable now getting into the rear plate bag you of course have basically the exact same thing very nice again the plate is kind of protruding through this very very thin material so there's almost no padding whatsoever it's basically just the harsh edges of the plate on your back so which again is not very comfortable now on the back panel it is very simple it is basically all laser cut molly which is nice and then on the back you have a little bit of a velcro section you have your drag handle which is double stitched in place the stitching in some places is starting to come loose but overall the design is decent it is very modular and they definitely have given the end user a lot of options of how to set up the plate carrier unfortunately if you're going to be wearing this for long periods of time again depending on your plates their shape and curve and whatnot you're definitely going to want to have something in here some sort of offset on the front and back so that they are a little bit more comfortable now getting into the shoulder straps themselves they actually don't come with these shoulder pads I actually stole these off of my LAPG Lovis. Uh, now the Lovis itself is a very similarly designed carrier. The stitching has held up better on it, but it has a few less options in terms of what you can actually mount to it. The shoulder straps themselves are of course adjustable via adjusting the length of the straps themselves. And it is just hook and loop Velcro material. It has worked quite well. There's enough adjustment for me. Now I'm not a particularly tall person, but if you're a very, very short person or a very, very tall person, you may have issues getting this to actually fit properly. And again, we're going to get into it, but uh, the comfort is not quite there on this plate carrier. And you're definitely going to want a set of shoulder pads um, to save your shoulders because this is not going to be particularly comfortable, especially if you're wearing heavier plates. Now, I have actually spent quite a bit of time with this plate carrier. I believe they sent it to me four or five months ago, and of course, I am not particularly quick with getting videos out on time. Now, I've used this plate carrier uh, basically one to three times a week, every week for the past four or five months. So my use case is definitely a little bit more than some people's is, but it's not a crazy aggressive use case or somebody that lives in a plate carrier. So you will see that some of the things have broken on it. You will see that some of the stitching, especially around the edges, is starting to come loose. Now, in terms of weight on the plate carrier itself, it comes in at 24 ounces, which is a very light plate carrier. Now, in terms of being light, it's also fairly light duty. If you're planning on living inside of a plate carrier or if your job makes you be in a plate carrier for, say, you know, eight plus hours a day, 10 hours a day or what have you, you're definitely going to want to invest in a little bit more. Now, this is the setup that I've been running it 99% of the time, depending on what placard I'm running. I'm running three mags, um, light radio off of the actual infinity tactical placard then i have a tourniquet underneath with more medical underneath that in the dangler pouch and in this configuration fully loaded i want to say it's like 10 12 pounds no that can't be right. you don't know you're right about 10 12 pounds fully loaded with level three plus plates now again I'm using aftermarket shoulder pads. I just stole them off my LAPG low vis. This is definitely not a low vis plate carrier. It does have a lot of app options, especially for the front panel, how you want to do things. If you are planning on getting this plate carrier, I would invest in some sort of pontoons in the back to increase your ventilation and your comfort. And depending on your plates, if you're using really thick, uh, the polyethylene plates or whatever they are, the ultra high weight molecular material plates or whatever they are, they're going to be very thick and may not actually fit in these plate bags. Now, when it comes to actually shooting and moving with the plate carrier, it's actually not too bad. There is a little bit of give in the cummerbund, so it kind of moves with you so it's not flopping around while not being too excessively tight and restricting your breathing. It's not particularly bulky, as you can tell. So again, fitting a rifle or what have you into this is not that bad, though that is also going to depend on the shape of your plates. And these ones here kind of 
have a multi-curve shooter's cut plate. So these are a little bit better than what you're gonna get from some other plates on the market. Now, I was actually just on a three-day road trip down to Idaho and back from Washington State, where I currently reside. And I actually had this plate carrier, basically this exact same setup, thrown into an inconspicuous backpack ready to go. And for that sort of application, it's not bad uh, because I don't really care about the plate carrier all that much. Now, on this specific one, I care about the plates quite a bit because the plates are about 800 bucks to 1000 bucks for the set. But overall, I don't care if this plate carrier gets stolen or lost or damaged or something like that. And as a tertiary setup, as something that gets thrown into a vehicle and forgotten about, it definitely can make a lot of sense depending on if you need a system like that. Would I run this as a primary plate carrier? Well, no, just because there are other plate carriers on the market that do the same thing in the same price category. Ah, good morning, everyone, once again. Now we get to talk about comfort of the Tacticon plate carrier. So when it comes to comfort, on the plate carrier and actually wearing it, it's not gonna be the most comfy thing on the market because as we discussed earlier, there's really no padding on it from the factory. Now it does have areas on that you can add aftermarket uh, pylons or padding or what have you to increase the depth between the plates and your body. But from the factory, it doesn't even come with shoulder straps. So as far as like comfort goes, it's not really going to be very comfortable for instance right now i'm wearing it with again the premier body armor the 2.8 pound plates which are extremely lightweight but the way that it's sitting right now is not particularly comfortable i have a bunch of sharp edges pushing into my back just because of the way the plates are curved and without any padding it's not particularly comfortable for long periods of time so like anything with cheaper plate carriers you're going to get a more bare bones experience now this isn't to say that the plate carrier is bad. Again, like we've talked about in the teardown, it has a lot of options. It has a lot of modularity. I would say that the durability of the product is somewhat lacking. You know, some of the stitching, some of the handles on the um, cummerbund itself have like ripped off or, you know, just torn. So I would not say that the quality of materials is the same that you're gonna be getting out of a more expensive plate carrier, but it is still enough for that kind of light duty or less use application. If you're a professional, you have to wear a plate carrier for your job. I would recommend getting something, of course, you know, more professional grade. Now, for the average person, or just the person who doesn't need to use their plate carrier quite as much, it would make a fine starter plate carrier that is very modular, but again, it's not going to be that same level of quality that you're going to be getting with some of these other companies. Does it work? Absolutely. Does it give you options? Absolutely. Is it high quality? Uh, that is from some people coming from the higher end of the spectrum, they're going to say, you know, absolutely not. It's kind of garbage quality, but for the average man, again, even in sort of what I do, which is a more heavy use case than some guys. But again, if you're going to be living in a plate carrier, doing something for an extended period of time, you're going to want to get something that is an appropriate level of quality for what you want it to do. So with that out of the way, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what other budget plate carriers I should check out in the future. If there's something else that I should check out that's kind of in this genre or, of course, more expensive as well. And with all that out of the way, guys, thank you guys once again for watching. I will see you in the next one.